This week we're kicking off our March Madness coverage. 7 News' Kelsey O'Donnell has more on the excitement for one local school and its conference who grabbed a big role in the upcoming tournament. Well, for the third time in March Madness history, games will return here to the Bon Secours Wellness Arena in Greenville. And Furman University and the Southern Conference are gearing up as this year's tournament hosts. It's March, and that means madness. Right here this year in Greenville. It's something leaders with the SOCON, like Jeff Cave, say is one of the many reasons why teams suit up. For the chance to play in the offseason. Well, everybody wants to be a part of March Madness. Uh, it's, it's the biggest event in college basketball. According to Furman's athletic director Jason Donnelly, hosting the tournament is an opportunity thousands of schools and cities vie for each year. It's the biggest tournament in the country. You know, it's bar none in terms of what it is, in terms of the opportunities. And as for what exactly the hosts do. We're part of every layer of infrastructure. Uh, when you talk about the facilities, the operations, uh, when you talk about the management, the marketing. A little bit of everything with guidance from the NCAA. Really working for the NCAA in many respects. We follow their uh, their, their guidebook and everything, but uh, it's, uh, it's a lot that goes into it. Uh, you, it's a first class event. It's the premier event in the NCAA. They administrate it and we execute it for them. We all have kind of our own assigned roles to play, but it's a, it's a team effort. 2017 was the last time Greenville saw action, and according to leaders in Furman's athletic department, this year will be in front of a sellout crowd. We were the first region to sell out officially, so Greenville's showing the support, Greenville's showing that they want to be a big part of basketball. Expected to pour millions of dollars into the city, this tournament is preparing to create a lasting experience. Just encourage the entire city to really enjoy this, um, the opportunity for the entire city economically. Uh, it's going to drive millions and millions of dollars to our economy. There's absolutely no downside <laughs> in hosting an NCAA tournament. You know, the, the exposure you do get for your conference and or for your institution if you're hosting is, you know, it's, uh, it's invaluable. And while the work continues as the clock ticks down until tip off, the exposure is something that leaders from Furman and the SOCON both agree is priceless. The excitement will continue as those final preparations are made here for the tournament and March Madness will continue this Friday here in Greenville. Reporting in Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News. Greenville has also punched its ticket to host the Division I Women's Regional Games in 2023 and the men's second round in 2026. For more information about March Madness, head to WSPA.com. We've got a March Madness tab right there on the big red banner.